In this video, we are going to work with analog pins of Arduino. Up to now, we have interfaced the sensors to digital pins. Now, we are going to interface the sensors with analog pins. So, before interfacing, you should know what is the use of these analog pins. So, these analog pins are mainly used to take the data which is analog. Say for example, if you want to measure the temperature or any varying parameter, you should use analog pins. So, if you take any sensor, say for example, this is temperature sensor, PCC, ground and output. So how the output of the temperature sensor will vary? If the temperature is low, the output of the sensor will be low voltage, maybe some 0 or some 1, 1.5 volts. So if the temperature is high, this particular voltage is going to change to 5. 5 volts because the operating voltage of the sensor is 5. So for the analog sensors, the voltage will vary between 0 to 5. But this varying voltage will not understand by the microcontroller or Arduino. So this voltage should be converted into digital form so that Arduino can process the digital data. For that purpose, we are going to use ADC. ADC. ADC is nothing but analog to digital converter where it is going to convert the analog temperature into digital. So in Arduino we are having ADC which is having some 10 bit resolution. So resolution is nothing but the accuracy of the ADC. So after converting the voltage the output of the ADC will be varying from 0 to 1, 0, 2, 3. This is the maximum value of the ADC. Further, this decimal value is going to convert into hexadecimal if it required by the if it is required for the microcontroller. Now we will see one temperature sensor practically and we will interface that sensor to the Arduino. So this is how a temperature sensor looks. Basic temperature sensor. Here you can see this is VCC and this is out and this one is ground. So this is how you have to interface the temperature sensor with the Arduino. In Arduino we are having six analog pins or six analog channels that is A0 to A5. So to one of the analog channel we have to interface the output of the temperature sensor. After that we will write a sample code to read the analog data from the temperature sensor. And finally we will send the temperature value to the smartphone using Bluetooth. Now I am going to write a small code where it will measure the temperature and finally it will display on the serial monitor. Further we will modify that code to send the temperature values to the smartphone. So open Arduino IDE. So now I am going to write a small program. Alright setup and pin mode here my temperature sensor is connected with the A0 which is analog pin and sensor is input device now I am going to begin the serial communication to send that sensor data to the serial monitor so after that 
I will start my logic part. In my logic, I will declare one variable and I will store the data of that sensor in that variable. So to read the analog values or analog data, we are having one function that is analog read. By using this function, we are going to read the A0 pin. After that, we will print that sensor data in the serial monitor. So, compile the code. Now I am going to upload the code to the microcontroller. So program has been successfully uploaded. Then now we will see the sensor data in the serial monitor. Here you can see it is getting around 57. So if the temperature increases, this value will increases the maximum value is 1023 now we should apply some formulas on these numbers and finally we should convert these numbers into temperature value for that purpose first we have to convert these values to the analog voltage after that analog voltage should convert into the temperature so to convert this values to the analog voltage we are having some small calculation so here i will show for zero volts we are getting the zero value for zero volts we will get the value 0 for maximum 5 volts of the sensor we will get 1024 so when if you are getting any sensor reading like 57 or 58 what is the voltage we are going to calculate now simply do a small mathematical calculation to find the output of the sensor in voltages so for that purpose to find this parameter that means to find the voltage of the sensor simply do sensor reading into 5 volts by 1023 So you will get that voltage, analog voltage. Now after calculating this analog voltage, simply multiply this analog voltage into with 100. Then you will get the current temperature measured by the temperature sensor. So first here we should convert the sensor reading into analog voltage. After that, we should multiply the analog voltage with the 100 and finally we will get the temperature value. So here we are having a demo program where we get the output of the sensor in voltages. Here you can see after reading the sensor 
the value is going to stored in sensor value again the sensor value is converted into a voltage by applying this formula now we will upload this program and we will see the sensor voltage so i'm opening the serial monitor where we can see the output of the sensor in voltages so here it is getting 0.28 simply multiply this 0.28 with 100 we will get the current room temperature so this voltage should be multiplied by 100 So 27 degrees is the current room temperature. Now we are going to send this, temp this temperature value to the smartphone using Bluetooth. For that purpose we are going to interface Bluetooth module to the Arduino. So the Bluetooth module should be interfaced at 0 and 1 pin pins of the Arduino. So this is how you have to interface the Bluetooth to the Arduino. So here 0 and 1. 